Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 109. In today's session, you're going to be able to get to watch me trade live, the NQ, and also I fired off a trade on the Russell, which I'll explain in great detail. So stick around because I'm going to go into great detail each one of my setups, why I took the setups, where I place my stop, and where I exit the trade. Now, as I always title these videos, the $1,000 a day challenge. Now, depending on the market and the time frame, I vary the income that I'm seeking each day on that market. Depends on the amount of capital I need to have tied up, but typically I'm targeting between $1,000 and $1,500 a day. Now, on the NQ today, we are going to be trading, and so you'll get to watch me play back a recording as I explain these live trades I took. And it's actually part of a trading, a training session I did for my members in my live trading room and in my coaching room. Um, and so I was after I was trading. What was I trading? The six tick Renko, and I was after three hundred dollars uh, per contract. I was trading, as you'll see, uh, five lots. Now, also, as I say in every one of my videos, my videos are raw, real, and unedited. So if I muck anything up, you're going to have to uh, uh, forgive me. Now, if a thousand dollars a day is not enough for you, I know that some of the young guns watching this want to earn a lot more. You simply add to your position. That is, you would trade more contracts. But one rule that we never ever break is our money management rule. We never ever risk any more than one percent. And as you build your account, you want to get that down to 0.5 to between 0.5 and 1 percent it makes trading a lot easier now what I also teach in these sessions you can apply to any market whether you're trading futures forex or stocks as always I do need to pull up a disclaimer here we go so there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and the great thing about virtually every trading platform now is you can also trade on the simulator before you actually go live a very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my free ebook the truth about day trading click on the description link below uh, I'm going to be showing you uh, a spreadsheet very briefly as well and even if you've watched my videos before or if you watched many of my videos uh, stick around because I'll be giving you some different figures today because we're tra trading uh, a couple of different markets and so stick around but you can also download the spreadsheet that I use uh, using the description link below and I've even recorded a little video on how to actually use uh, the spreadsheet better still become a member first of all make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're kept up to date with all of my latest videos and traders what I'm about to show you here for $197 you get all of my indicators uh, you get um, uh, over 200 hours of online instruction there's 36 PowerPoints now there's literally hundreds of train of trading resources in the members area I've been now trading for 28 years so let me share with you what I've put together now uh, so all of that is only 197 and I have a bonus going where you can also attend eight of my live two-hour coaching sessions now they are recorded if you cannot attend so every uh, Tuesday and Wednesday night 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I run a two-hour session walking traders through step by step exactly what I'm looking for going through the PowerPoints teaching them the syntax uh, the order of the trade from the right hand side of the screen so you're getting to see exactly what I'm looking for with my trades and we cover trading psychology uh, uh, trading plans and much much more so that's all included for 197 Just, you can join using the link below let's now get into this now sorry about my picture there covering part of that slide there but mastering the art of day trading can be a little bit like drinking out of a fire hose there are a lot of moving parts but the great thing is it's mainly about patterns and it's also not rocket science now I'll try to break it down in this session and make it as simple as possible but it does take time now I'm still amazed how 
traders will watch a couple of videos or read a book and they think they can trade you've got to give yourself that 90 day internship you see traders is only one way to learn how to day trade it's the right way the first time but unfortunately traders think that you watch them it's a bit like playing a piano you can read a book about it or learning how to swim you can read a book about it watch a video uh, but there's a big difference to actually doing it live and that's why I run my live and recorded classes so I'll make it as simple as I can what you'll also notice in my videos uh, and my training sessions I'm very much about the power of quitting that is I, I have a target I like to hit that target and wrap things up for the day now I'm in my 60s now I know I don't look, look like it but I am nearly 65 um, and gone are the days when I want to earn my twenty thirty thousand dollars a day if you're a young gun that may be great for you but what I found over the years the best traders will usually trade no more than three to four hours a day maximum I try to have my trading wrapped up in well under two hours and usually it's within 30 minutes for an example in today's session as most of my sessions are 30 minutes and it's over and done with I've finished okay so um, that's also a major consideration so a lot of traders say why not go for two five ten thousand dollars well I like to get in get out get paid and very important I'm also what I call a scalper and so that lowers my risk now the other thing too you'll see is we've got to have an edge a casino has an edge and the house edge is that we believe in probabilities and if I have a loss I've got to move straight on to the next trade providing it sets up and this is a very important concept that I won't get into too much in this video but you've got to really learn to think and trade in probabilities this is really about money management so what you're going to see me do today is so the dark blue line there traders I look at that that is the higher time frame so what I'm looking for is retracements on my entry chart and then trend continuation trades back in the direction of the higher time frame and when I get to uh, market highs or when I get to a pivot uh, could be the high open high low close of the day um, these sorts of levels that's where I'm looking for my divergence trades which you'll actually get to see me uh, take as well so in today's session uh, it was a great session we had um, uh, five trades in total four here on the six tick uh, NQ uh, we had a trend following uh, reversal uh, a scalping of a pivot and a, another reversal and on the RTY I had a reversal uh, right there as well so I'm going to be explaining those trades to you uh, in detail when I I'll have it on playback and I'll mute it so I can then explain to you exactly what I'm looking for and down here unfortunately just there I missed that trade I can't remember um, what I was doing at the time maybe it was faster but uh, it's amazing when you go back oh, why wasn't I in uh, that's what I call a 2b by the way anyway still a great trading session over and out within um, 30 minutes now I want to quickly go into a little bit about having or, or how to create a trading plan and a realistic target uh, unfortunately so many traders have been sold on the dream that you can go for your five hundred uh, two thousand dollars uh, per contract you trade look you're very very experienced traders and they're very few that are really going for those high amounts per contract however what is realistic is two to four hundred dollars a day is realistic however you've got to get there so what I want to do is run through and just give you a couple of ideas start small aim small miss small is that we want to start on uh, a small target to begin with and we build with confidence and this is all about gaining clarity and putting together a trading plan now once you start in your clarity and you create that compelling future it makes it so much uh, easier now what would an extra thousand dollars a day to you mean now that's a that's five thousand dollars a week it's a game changer for 90 percent probably 98 percent of the population now to do that we only need to trade 10 contracts by $100 a day or five by $200 a day 
now the number one trade and I've got a lot of members of course that will be watching this what are our number one one trades to two B's well this is two isn't it the number one trade is the 2b followed by the 34b so let's quickly look at and set a daily target which is what I have when I trade because also look doesn't matter how long you've been trading for most of us we love to get to break even when we enter a trade it's great when you're at break even it's no longer can become a losing trade it's even better when you hit your daily target and so that's what I want to quickly cover with you so let's say that you start off like on this video uh, this training session I'm going to be trading a Renko chart now you can apply what I teach you to any sort of chart whether it be tick Renko uh, range charts time-based charts it doesn't really matter uh, I love uh, both tick and Renko now in the video here I'm going to be using Renko charts now we're on the six tick Renko uh, you need to have six thousand dollars now you may say well hang on the, the day trading margins only need a thousand that is correct but what if you have a loss of say $100 you've just lost 10% of your capital okay so you need to be allowing six thousand dollars because what's two percent of six thousand one twenty so I can have a stop of up to 24 ticks now typically as you're about to see I would have a stop of between 21 between 20 and 22 ticks in a trade if you don't have the 6,000 the great thing is you can start on the micro and I'm about to show you how to quickly put the money together to have the 6,000 now on the other hand even if you got 6,000 start on a micro make all the mistakes you're gonna make on a micro contract okay rather than on the big contract yeah you see time's gonna pass anyway traders so you may as well do it correctly because if you go and blow six thousand dollars or blow your account uh, once or twice the psychological damage it does to a trader um, is incredible now you know what's happening now is I'll have um, traders on YouTube now logging off they don't want to hear this they just want to get the um, uh, you know watch the get rich quick videos well get rich slowly I want to reframe it for you and show you how to do it in under a year now if you start with say six hundred dollars and there we're going to be targeting I'll show you how to do this in a moment thirty dollars a day within 12 weeks you've now got an income if you wanted to stay with that you'd be trading there around 10 contracts and earning around fifteen hundred dollars a week and your account is now nearly seven thousand dollars now how this compound table works is that you start off by trading con one contract and every time you double your money you start on another so you go from 600 to 1200 uh, you're on two you go to 1800 you're on three so none of this crazy compounding nonsense that you see a lot of people use this is the right way to do it and we're working on a maximum of a two percent risk now once we got that six thousand we can then roll over and we start trading the big contract and we're going for three hundred dollars a day you see the micro is ten percent of the value of a large contract then look at that there and by week 11 you've got the potential there of earning your ten thousand plus a week uh, trading eight to ten contracts and your account size is basically fifty five thousand dollars now what we do need to take into account is the total time it's taken now if we start with six hundred dollars it's going to take us 12 weeks to get to six thousand and a further 11 weeks to potentially and I've got to say the word potentially uh, to get to your ten thousand a week now I'm going to be showing you how to do this and you'll be able to watch me trade live as I explain these trades now there are total time taken 23 weeks from going live and the reason I say from going live it might take you two months before you're ready to actually go live that is you've got to master the setups master your trading initially on the simulator cut corners early in your career traders you're going to start blowing your account you blow your account two or three times and you blow your confidence you hesitate in taking a trade etc so when we do trade these are the areas that you'll hear me talk about now 
the great thing is the best of the best indicators are free they're available in virtually every trading platform so you know save your if you see anything great on the internet or on Google or on YouTube to buy ind indicators let me show you what they are okay um, uh, save your money for your trading account maybe a few hundred dollars for an education or a course with me but save your money because these all of these here are what we call predictive indicators and the reason they're predictive is they plot automatically for an example your pivot levels and Camarilla pivots there's two types of pivots I use uh, and they provide in advance support resistance levels which we bounce off every day and the reason they search uh, work so well uh, is they're predictive because we are professionals we trade into them they act as support resistance areas as all of these other areas do such as uh, the 89 and 200 EMAs your intraday swings all of these you can get free indicators that will plot basically every one of these here uh, and they're just brilliant as far as um, identifying turning points and support resistance levels now what I'm going to do here is play back the video I'll put the sound on mute because it was actually a training video for my members and from there where are we here I'll turn turn it on in a moment but what I'm going to do here is explain did I get the right one no that's not the right one what I'm going to do is explain then uh, step by step exactly what I'm looking for now before I roll this out yes I've already muted this you'll have to excuse the band on the bottom here um, so what are we looking at exactly now for a start this is the six tick uh, Renko if you're not familiar with uh, Renko and this market is the NQ and once again it doesn't matter which market you trade you can apply the same thing okay so it's six tick Renko from the height of a low of these green candles Renko actually means brick from the load of a high excluding any of the little tails that's $30 so on the NQ it's $5 a tick each one of those steps is worth half of that $15 so I call these steps now to go a net $300 a day on the on the six tick you need three net seven step trades a day okay now I don't always get my, and I like to get out at seven steps as a scalper get in get out get paid but you'll quite often see I'll take a smaller profit like up here you can see there and no doubt you can see my mouse moving around there um, we've got uh, up there that's a Camarilla pivot up above and my target of it was either 21 or 22 ticks is above the pivot now we're not always guaranteed a punching through the pivot quite often you'll go up there and you'll bounce off the pivot so this is what I call a pivot magnet trade pivot magnet trades when you combine them with an anchor chart are a good 90% win loss ratio 90% if you're using them in conjunction with an anchor chart so let me play this here and I'll sort of describe what I'm looking at now I'm not going to this goes for actually for 30 minutes so we're not going to go through the whole 30 minutes I'm going to jump ahead I've got five live trades here to show you but I just want to explain exactly what's happening so first of all when I take a trade uh, I want to make sure that my stop loss is usually one tick below the little swing there so you'll see the the mouse from the recording moving around that's my mouse on my face there okay um, so I, I want to adjust my stop now what I'm pointing out there is that quite often we'll go up there and hit the pivot and my target is well above that pivot so we've got a choice here of either just scalp into the pivot and what I call front run so what exactly is front running front running is where I might buy into a pivot but exit one or two ticks before the pivot and the reason for that is so many uh, full-time traders professional traders we will exit just before the pivot because we know that the the amateurs are going for the pivots and above the pivots however if you're in a new trend 
or if you've got great support from your anchor chart uh, we generally will get through the pivot and continue so there's a couple of little tricks with that so let me just move this along so what I'm waiting for so you can see here I'm down $195 at this stage but I'm also trading um, uh, five contracts now I pop okay so now and uh, you quite often see me adjust my stop I'm look I never increase and this is a fatal mistake a lot of traders make they increase their stop loss uh, as the market goes against them hoping the market will turn I'll never increase my stop loss um, uh, any more than 24 ticks that's the maximum I will have so what I might do is pull my stop down below again and sometimes I think mm, I'll, I'll increase it if I think the market stalled but the bottom line is if I do pull it down it's still only back down here and oh there's another good reason for that by the way once I I'm just looking then at the anchor chart and other charts and just checking out that was actually another market I was uh, about to put a trade on to but what I'll do when we go back here um, once we hit five steps see that there I went to break even so once I hit five steps uh, which is $75 automatically my dome takes me to break even now I could have it go to break even at any level but if I'm pretty confident of the move uh, I'll pull my uh, stop back down because what can actually happen is you hit the five steps the market comes out stops you out and then continues so if I feel that I might get a pullback I'll then just pull my stop back so you'll see me do that uh, at times so let's just see here uh, we should in a moment um, hit our target because we do get filled and I get um, my full target here I, I was probably saying there I'm sort of thinking mm, do I take profits because remember we're still at a pivot and there we go so now we're out we get filled okay so that was a nice uh, trade and I call that a pivot magnet trade so let me get go ahead now to four minutes and 28 now here it is here we're now on the Russell so with the Russell uh, I I'm only trading here a two tick Russell I think it is and yes it is and so therefore I'm trading eight lots rather than five because I can uh, I only need uh, around um, uh, two well you would only need two and a half thousand I use five thousand because I only trade at a maximum usually of one percent risk but if you're trading this you'd only need two and a half thousand per contract where on the NQ the higher time frame you need more money okay to trade it the right way now I know I'm going in depth and with training you'll pick this up but this is the sort of stuff that educators don't want you to know because they're worried about you won't go ahead and buy their overpriced course but it's critical you understand this and after a couple of hours of training you'll soon pick this up now for members watching this you can see there we've got a potential t10 setting up so you'll hear me quite often use codes pivot magnet trades t1 t2 are just um, the abbreviations it just makes it a lot easier when um, I'm training members so just here I am short I'm taking a bit of heat that's what we call this it's going against me uh, at the moment so I am short here um, my stop if I remember correctly here is probably eight ticks and I've got a uh, an eight tick target just below the pivot now quite often this is an 89 EMA quite often then I'm just going back and just checking for another potential setup on the other market as well and we're in we're in I'm just going to move this along so you can see this here okay I've gone back so I'm explaining there I'm waiting for another setup here so here we're coming back coming back okay now whoops and what did I actually fill now what I've actually done here I've entered into and let me pause this for a moment so back onto the NQ here I've now shorted uh, taken a counter trend trade 
now if you're a new trader you do not trade counter trend trades at all early in your career uh, you had an entry here you had one there you had one there you had one there you had one there there's no need to counter trend trade initially uh, in time for an example just there I've got a beautiful double top and for members watching this you can see I've got a t10 as well a great setup but a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush you want to really get to master one simple rules based strategy then add another one then maybe add another one and as Linda Rashke says some of the best traders she knows specialize in one market and one setup and the easiest to learn is are your trend following setups but I just wanted to mention this here so I'm not sure if we've already hit our profit on that other uh, contract we will see whether we flick over in a moment but here I'm gone short here on a uh, this is a t10 double top reversal strategy with divergence now as you can see there I've gone to break even pretty quickly now usually uh, here's that other trade by the way so yes we're still in it and I th what I'd be doing here is looking to hit the pivot and either cover my trade exit the trade or to take profits or at least to tighten my stop loss and the reason is quite often we will bounce now we can quite often uh, go th straight through it as well and I think that's what actually happened with this so what I'll do is and I'm usually aiming for my 89 EMA as I come down now here I'm about to hit it or am I gonna and what can actually happen sometimes you, you, so here I'm tight in my stop just here I want to lock some profit in just there now I'm only a tick or two away from exiting this trade and I'd be very happy so I'm just sitting there waiting for it and sometimes it's a bit like watching oil paint dry okay um, just doesn't happen quick enough so if I remember correctly it actually uh, um, come back and stopped me out at break even we'll see this in a moment I'm probably discussing I was discussing that with members what I would be doing just here now all of these trades here are rules based uh, so you, you and there it is there now see there how it bounced up and then took me out now remember here quite often we can bounce off the pivot now over here we got filled on that trade there in the meantime as well so that was a double top now I know it, it's, it's only up by a tick or two looks like a duck quacks like a duck it's a duck it was also members watching this it was a t10 and ah and this is the trade I missed uh, now I remember why it wasn't in that trade I was sitting back when I was preparing this thinking why wasn't I in that trade um, uh, and because I was looking at the camera uh, we we're looking at the other trade at that time so anyway so this was live so I was recording these lives and uh, live and trading live here that's why I missed this particular one now the next trade is at eight uh, let's see here is it 13 25 I'm just going to move along here for you now just there I've gone long now notice how quickly how quickly this moved now this is what we call a pivot magnet trade now this is where I'm buying into the pivot now a pivot magnet trade these are 90% trades but what you're not seeing here is what is happening on the anchor chart one as well so that's a trade as I mentioned I was thinking why wasn't I in that one and uh, as now I <laughs> playing back I remember now why because we were on uh, talking about the other trade but that was just a plain vanilla um, uh, every day to be so just here I've got a 21 tick uh, 22 I think see the 21 or 22 tick stop there I think it's 22 and my target is just above now I can remember what actually happened here and so we rallied up and I end up covering the trade and out of break even so this is what happens a lot I'm just going to stand here I've got a standing desk so just here stand here a bit more comfortable now just there I've missed the pivot by a tick and this is what I mean about front running we see this every day 
and you've got to be aware of that so the the other trade I showed you where over here where I punched through there was a little trick to how I knew that was going to happen but I was pretty certain that um, this was going to reverse and if I remember correctly I then pulled it down pulled my target down and I got out of this trade at basically break even it wasn't a loss covered the commissions but basically at break even you'll see it'll bounce up in a, in a moment I pull that down now let me go to the next trade um, you see trades traders pivots that's a pivot there and that's a pivot this is called a Camarilla pivot and this is your traditional floor pivot they are predictive indicators they're leading indicators because they're based on prior price action but they're plotting well in advance and so they're very very reliable so I do get out here a little bit further along I didn't get back up to that pivot so that's what I mean a bit so you've got to really watch uh, pivots it's easy to trade into them but sometimes you just got to know how to manage the trade as well and just there I'm out of that um, picked up a couple of ticks now the next trade here is in 1925 just looking 1925 here we go right here so just here I'm about if I remember correctly I'm and there we are I'm about to short now why am I shorting here now just watch me adjust my stop just there see what I just did then my stop was right on the high I moved it up by one tick so I like to have as long as it's not what we call a runaway market and what I mean by that in a fast moving market you might have to use a market order we just click buy and sell and you might get a lot of what we call slippage then I won't if it's say down here I'm not going to pull up my stop right up there now just here this is my last trade and I'll quickly explain what I'm doing here I I want to get out with my 1500 net I've got my target down here right at the pivot and I'm now out of that I just want to get out get in get out get paid so with that trade I then hit my target uh, and if I remember it, it continues to uh, continues down but you know what traders sometimes say to me look you leave a lot on the table yep leave something on the table for the other guy but if you've hit your target for the day um, uh, what the heck you know now it's a little bit like trailing like see this just there okay so this is me going to straight up and down just there okay now that move there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now that there traders uh, is a $150 move now that's close whoops it's gone back to the other market that was close to a $200 move per contract so on five contracts if you were trailing let's just go back to that see if it'll go back to this here let me just pause that now so that basically is a $200 move now there's lots of things you can do to exit the trade you can use a um, a hull moving average they're excellent for trailing uh, you can use a, a, the trigger line there's lots of things there uh, two lower closes if you want to trail but once again what works for me is get in get out get paid so traders uh, that ended up being a very successful day I, from there to there I was in and out in those five trades within 30 minutes and as <laughs> now I realize why I missed it because I was looking back on this why wasn't I in that one because that one there that's just a plain vanilla uh, entry so traders I've covered a lot in uh, this session this is not rocket science it's about learning the patterns okay um, yes I can help you cut the corners I give you everything but screen screen time so I've been doing this now for 28 years you can do this as well but you've got to put the time into it uh, uh, attend the classes watch my videos so if you can't attend for an example we've got clients or members all around the world but everything's also recorded so you can watch those at any time so come and join me $197 gets you the works now 
Uh, after one month, if you choose to stay with the coaching sessions, uh, it's only $97 a month, but you have got to drop me an email. And actually, I think my staff, uh, we actually send you an email at the end of one month and say, look, would you like to sign up for the ongoing coaching classes? Oh, and on top of that, uh, it's an extra on top of that. If you want to uh, attend my live trading room, I also have a live trading room that I run three mornings a week. OK, traders, look forward to seeing you in my classes as a member and also on my next video. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks, traders.